Musk or Abajur. Yeah. What up, what up? Hey, hope everybody's doing well. Welcome to the channel with the Fragrance Ninja. Coming at you today with a little review of a fragrance that I've had for a while. Uh, this fragrance dropped in 2000, so it's about 21, 20 years old. And I was thinking, I need to get more into fragrances that are the great fragrances that I have in my collection, not so much just the newer fragrances, because when it comes down to what I wear, I normally wear the great fragrances. And uh, not to say this fragrance is great, but it's damn good. And so Musk Ravageur by Frederick Mall. Now with this fragrance, if you can get past the opening, the opening is, excuse me, the opening is a strong clove kind of opening. Yeah, it does have some bergamot, some lavender, things like that. But it can, to some, if you can't stand the clove opening, be a little bit yeah, off putting in the beginning. But after that, as it dries down, and it just gets better and better. And when it gets better and better, I mean, that's when the amber, the vanilla, the taco bean, all of those notes really come to the forefront and it turns into more of the gourmand kind of smell. Uh, I don't know why, this is one of my favorite names in fragrances. Musk Ravageur. Sounds like just a big, hairy, humping beast. I mean, I I was just thinking about, I think it's Bugs Bunny that had that big V harp shape, heart shaped, uh, little hairy thing, big hairy thing that, you know, all right, forget that. But that's kind of just, when I think about that name, Musk Ravageur, it's like hell of a name, hell of a name. Now, last and power on this, ah, I love that. Last and power on this, I would say, eh, it lasts as long as the day goes. I don't think it's a projection monster by any stretch of the imagination, but you will be noticed. Now, people sometimes are a little scared once anything says Musk, but Trust me, it's not what people make it out to be. It doesn't uh, smell like a dung pile or anything like that with sugar sprinkled on it. No, it's actually a really pleasant fragrance. I have never gotten any negative comments about it. Every time I wear it, it's well received. And uh, could it be a skin chemistry thing? Possibly. But I just think it's a good fragrance for everybody. But I would say try this one out. I think I can get this one for about 150, somewhere around that round, that round. Even maybe a little better, depending on where you go. But uh, for that price point, if you can get a sample, get a sample, try it out. See if it's for you. I know it's 20 years old and it's kind of falling off the radar, but to me, this is a staple. This is good stuff. Yeah, Musk Ravageur, Frederick Mall. But that's all I got until next time. Y'all be good.